it's coming up now. Yes, sir. We can see it. Okay. Let's scroll. You see what happened? I've got all seven dispensations. Look at all the truth. And look where you can find it. And how it relates to our personal salvation. Each one. In it from innocence to conscience to government, promise. Then law, which is the fifth dispensation. The law, we are, what we are now, grace. And finally, the tribulation and kingdom. These are the seven dispensations. What happens in the first, the opening event is what? God creates man. Man's responsibility, believe and obey. Um, that doesn't sound like new covenant. Yes, sir. All right. The failure of man was innocence was lost. Man's tendency to run away from God. The closing event, man was expelled from the Garden of Eden, although we can find it in Genesis. Personal salvation by grace through faith, substitutionary sacrifice, the blood of the Lamb, Genesis 3.21, and the promise of the seed, Genesis 3.14 and 4 and 25. Conscience, Abel offers a lamb. Cain murders Abel. Romans 2 and 15. Genesis 4 and 2 through 15. What well, is man's responsibility? Simply got to believe and obey God. What well, happened? Man's conscience is defiled. And they run away from God again. The judgment is what? The flood. But how were those how did people get saved? Through grace, because Noah found what? Grace in the eyes of God. Now, government. What well, again, the thing. Noah worships God and receives a covenant and he receives responsibility. Again, what's the thing that what all, all the man has to do? Believe and obey God. How did they fail? Personal disorder, that means their own personal lives, and societal disorder, which means how the government went, oh boy, don't that sound familiar today. Go back to January 6th, what was that? <laughs> away from God's man, God, God. They ran away from God again, they got away from God again, went from his ways, his will, and the man's failure. And what was the judgment at the Tower of Babel? The confusion of the tongues. By grace, through the line of the seed. This is the seed. What seed? The seed of Eber, the seed of Shem. We get promise. God calls Abram, gives him promises. Promises are repeated to Isaac and Jacob. What is the rule? Believe, and believe God and obey him. What happened? Promise blessing pursued by fleshly means instead of thinking spiritually thought and they got and got in his flesh. Abram did that with Sarah. Jacob did it. As did Moses. They ran away from God. Why? Because the promises of God are disregarded. Do not. Esau, the children of Israel, Israel's longing to go back to Egypt and is summarized in Psalm 106. What is the judgment? They go into slavery, bondage in Egypt. And by grace, again, our people say God's grace is throughout the whole Bible. Now we get into the law. Torah. What is this? What is it? How is it then executed? Israel promises to keep the law. Did they do it? No. What were they doing? All they had to do was believe God and obey God. There were blessings if you didn't believe it, and there were cursings if you didn't obey it. What happens? The law is broken repeatedly. Man runs away from God again. 
and we get all these judgments of Israel, Assyria, Judah. Israel went to Assyria, Judah went to Babylon, Jerusalem is destroyed. Again, grace still is in operation because they weren't totally destroyed. Grace, the age we are in now, Christ ascends and sends the Holy Spirit and he establishes his church. This is the disposition we're in now. He has established his church. Why? For what? All you got to do is to what? Believe and obey for eternal life and you got to live right. But people going to commit a great straight apostasy. We're seeing that now. We're seeing away from people are running away from God. What happens is the judgment. The first thing is the rapture. First Thessalonians 4, 16 through 17 and Revelation 3 and 10. And the judgment was the apostate church enters the, the tribulation. By grace through faith. This tribulation, which we haven't got to yet, but I know we off the coast to it. The man of sin is revealed, which is the Antichrist that we all know. And it says what? In tribulation, man's failure comes to awful fruition. Watch this. In innocence. Men live the lie and call evil good. Lord have mercy. Conscience. Corrupt minds ignore God's word. Government. The world unites with Antichrist against God. Promise. Israel is in the promised land, but is in unbelief. Law, the rebuilt temple is given over to temple, over to false worship. Finally, what? Grace. The apostate church is aligned with the Antichrist. What, is, what happens? Judgment. The judgment is Christ casts out Satan and his false apostles. They're going in to the and his false false leaders. And even in this time, terrible time, many find salvation but by grace through faith in the blood of the Lamb. Finally, we get we go into the kingdom. Jesus Christ returns to earth as King of Kings. All we got and it's gonna be nothing but belief and obeying then. Even in the age of righteous man turns away from Christ to follow Satan when given the opportunity. Finally, the judgment is judgment. The final rebellion is crushed. Eternal destinies are decreed. And by grace through faith is how people receive salvation. These are the seven dispensations of, of man. The question is, how close are we to this tribulation? How, how very close are we to this tribulation? And see, y'all don't understand it. Here it is. You can study out, look. Look, it's right there, black and white, and in blue, there go the scriptures. Just start studying from there, and I'm pretty sure you'll figure out, oh, we've been thinking, we've been thinking crazy for years. Okay, sis Cherry, do you do you want to comment? B, you want to comment? No, I'm just gonna basically say on this part, I just this is another but a bit of evidence here that's showing that what Brother Brian said some time ago that the scriptures are progressive. Um, God is not waiting on folk to realize that they is real and all of this racism stuff, you know, all of these different distractions that we've been seeing over the past few years um, coming from the Hebrew Israelites and not just them, various other crazy occults. They got it wrong. They are way off. Uh, again, when you look at Genesis 12, 3, it, which is supported by 